This is my mom, Shelly Lavin Fisher. And this is my story. What do you feel like you are most passionate about in life? I would say taking whatever energy I have and pushing it out as positively as I can. Shelly Lotman Fisher, also known as My Amazing Mom, is a positivity pioneer whose humble beginnings and working class roots laid the foundation for her future. I have one younger brother, but I had a mother who was a teen when I was born and a father who worked all the time. He started off as a truck driver with his father in the meat business and built his business from the ground up. My parents always worked really hard and were incredible role models. So seeing that as an example, did that have a really profound impact on you? Oh, for sure. My mom took that work ethic and focused it on her studies, where she ultimately earned a degree from Syracuse University, becoming the first in her immediate family to graduate college. Getting my diploma, I think, was a big deal, not only for me, but for the rest of the family. I did feel sort of like a little bit of a trailblazer going in a new direction from what anyone has done before. After graduating from Syracuse University, Shelley enrolled in grad school at UNC Chapel Hill and worked a range of jobs that had a profound impact on her. They included being a CPR instructor for the Red Cross, teaching reading and writing at a women's prison in North Carolina, and answering calls for a crisis hotline. The more you experience other people, the more you appreciate them and respect the path that they have to walk. And, you know, through those different experiences, have more compassion for people, more patience for people, more understanding for people, and appreciation for your own path that you're able to walk in life. After grad school, Shelley took the lesson she learned and dove in headfirst into life as a wife, working mom, and entrepreneur on a mission to do good launching companies ranging from a fitness facility that promoted health and well-being to co-founding the leading medical ID fashion marketplace in the U.S. And her company had one goal. Making medical bracelets fashionable so that people didn't have to feel branded by their conditions. In 2009, Shelley was hit with her own diagnosis. Then you get the call and you say, wait a second, you told me that it was okay. She found out she had breast cancer. And I remember just being alone in the office and just closing the door and just like standing there. I think your mind shuts off. I think you just kind of go, because all you're thinking is what? And it's almost like an out of body experience because it's so surreal. The next thing I knew, I was reeling through the different doctors. Then the first thing they tell you is ovaries out, and you say, what? Then the next thing you know, they're giving you a double mastectomy. You get wheeled into a operating room. When you're saying, I don't even know how all this, ha like when did this even happen? You kind of have to allow yourself to feel what it is that you're feeling and acknowledge that it sucks, and that it's like, okay, so now what am I gonna do? I gotta put on my big girl pants and stand up. And not letting that define my future. That's like a chapter, not the book. After months of treatment and surgeries, my mom was cancer free. But not long after, our family suffered a loss that rocked the foundation once again. So when my father died, it was beyond devastating. And it was like the whole world stopped. He was such a huge presence, not just for me, but for so many people. 
mentoring was always incredibly important to your grandfather. It was like a revolving door, people in and out of his office at all times. He affected the lives of just so many. And so we're trying to think of what to do for his memory. All those pieces came together with the concept of naming a charity for him. His first name was Herb, as you know. And so the Herbert Ford Foundation was born. So welcome and thank you for coming. In 2014, Shelley founded the Herbert Forward Foundation, an organization that awards college scholarships, provides mentorship opportunities, and hosts a variety of educational and activity-based events for students who, despite their incredibly difficult circumstances, are making a difference in their communities while excelling at school. They just have these incredible mindsets, these huge hearts, and they're game changers. They're gonna pay it forward and make the world a better place. I wanna go into the medical field. Computer engineering. Nursing. Being a doctor. I hope to do something in the health field. We believe that creating a community of people who can be positive can, as a group, do so much more than an individual. And by putting these students together, magic happens. In just four years, the foundation has granted nearly half a million dollars in funding to over 120 students, 100% of which goes directly to their institutions and educational activities. I grew up with a single mom. Um, my father was incarcerated most of my life, so going to college was an uncertainty for me. Having Shelly as a mentor has really helped me come into my own. She has really changed my life, and it's so cliche, but she really has. We don't change their lives, they change their lives. We just help believe in them, and we help connect them to other people who believe in them. But my mom's heart has no limits, and so when her friends tragically lost their daughter, she knew she had to take action. Being with my friend and trying to find words, because I was right there with her, there are no words at that moment. And their daughter, Stephanie, was one of these incredibly young, inspirational, did amazing things in the world, young person. For her short years, she did a lot of good. And I said to my friend, I'm going to try to write something or do something that will honor Stephanie's memory. So she co-authored the award-winning book, Breaking Sad, featuring real stories of loss and how to handle grief with advice from those who have been through it. The idea of trying to offer people ideas of what to say and not to say in situations of loss just seemed like a natural fit. As long as you have strength, keep pushing out as much positive as you can. So for mom, that meant launching Positivities.com which, you guessed it, shares your daily dose of positive tips, products, and stories. Hi guys, I'm Chase here from Positivities.com, and we're at the National Dog Show. When you spend a lot of time looking at positive content, you feel good yourself, and you put it out there to other people, you hope they feel good. So to me, it was sort of a win-win situation. When life threw her another curveball, Shelly immediately focused on the positive. I guess lightning hit twice on me with um, being diagnosed with uh, bladder cancer. And it was another rocket ship that kind of knocked me off my feet. And then I said, okay, Shelly, you know how to do this. You've done it before. You know, as a matter of fact, you are one tough bitch. This is what I tell myself. I'm not one to use a word that's maybe offensive to some people. That's not what I meant by that. It was, it was like inside of me, I knew I had the resources to be as tough as I needed to be to stand back up. Just saying it, you kind of go, okay, I can, I can do this. Sit up a little and taller. And you stand up a little taller and you, yeah, you just sort of pull it together. And I said, I know, I'm gonna get a necklace made. What started as a necklace has evolved into a mission. In 2018, Shelly launched the official One Tough Bitch brand which creates products and serves as a physical reminder of a woman's inner strength. And a portion of all proceeds go to charities that benefit women. You are turning your struggle into almost like an anthem. Perhaps my path 
has dictated some of why the story has gone the way it is, but this is not about me. This is about all the women who have stories like me. If I was in a supermarket and I saw someone else wearing that necklace, what that would say to me is, this woman has been through hell, but she's standing up and she's smiling and she's moving forward. And it kind of connects you with each other because it says, we did this, here we are, moving forward and it's all good. One tough bitch, here we come. <laughs> And there's no doubt who's the luckiest person to have this modern hero as their mom. You've always been a modern hero to me because you've been the best role model to look up to. You've always shown me the type of woman I want to be. You're the reason I do the show. I'd say thank you for telling my story. If you like this modern hero, please share. It helps us bring you more stories. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel on YouTube at Modern Hero TV. To donate to the Herbert Forward Foundation, go to www.herbie.com.